Hey guys, sorry I haven't been able to stream or do very many videos lately, but I'm starting to feel better, so I'll be back at it. Enjoy the video. What's up guys, Shuri here. Today we're doing the machine gun brawl. What you want to do here in the beginning is get two kills to get the rocket launcher. You want to be very careful not to really lose any of your health if you can. So you want to kind of stay like halfway on the wall. That way you kind of have a head glitch going. And that way you can get your rocket launcher, you don't die, and you can go immediately to their spawn and start spawn killing them. Every two kills you get, it resets your rocket launcher. The reason it's so important to do this in the beginning of the game is if you can get your rocket launcher before they do, you can strafe with your rocket launcher and shoot fine. If they strafe with their machine gun, they can't hit headshots and their accuracy goes down dramatically. So, you are in such a good position if you're able to use the rocket launcher and strafe and dodge bullets while using your stem guns and picking up the little uh, orb things to give armor. And they have to try to kill you just with machine gun. It is super important to make sure you use your stems. They don't actually belong to you and they're more powerful than regular stem guns. So they are so important. Here I push in the respawn. I'm able to sit here and just try to aim for his head and hit my stem guns. So I take less damage and do a lot to him. I get my rocket launcher with full health and relatively good armor. And so what I want to do is I want to run around and get them while they're in their spawn. And if I ever see any of those triangle orbs to get my armor to full, I want to make sure I run over them. It gives you good speed and makes your armor go up. And that way I can get my health up with the stem guns, get my armor up with the um, armor cubes. That's why I run in and get them and then run back out. And then I just go and see if they're going to come right or left and I just try to get them. I have the ability to be mobile and they don't and I take full advantage of that. Sadly, in order to get all of them right there when they bunch together in their spawn, I kind of overextended and started hitting people who were immune. But it's all good, I still got the unstoppable. Um, on this one, I kind of got the guy who came on our right side, I let him walk past me and then killed him. And then I got the guy that kind of was in the middle. I'm able to push up, my teammate ended up getting my four at once, but it's all good. It kind of helps him get his uh, rocket launcher sooner, so in the end, it's good. But um, right here, I want to get my health up from my stem guns and then just wait till my teammates can get some triangles dropped for my armor to get back up. I'm going to run in and get one of those triangles, and then I'm going to just run back out, and I'm going to just alternate side to side from here on. Right here, it's important to get my armor up from the cube and kind of hide and then be able to reload so then I can start using more rocket launchers instead of just die. Because of that, I get an unstoppable. Alright guys, this is going to be for my next video, my one trial of the Stormbringer, 387 points on control points. This gun is phenomenal, and I'll show you guys what I did and why I love it. So, make sure you don't miss my next video.